rolling. Boom, contact. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back with Piz. Check it out. Here's what's going on, okay? So Piz and Veronica, like, get freaky, and there's a tape of it, which gets circulated on the Internet. And uh, so basically Logan sees it, and typical blind rage comes after Piz because he's a bastard. Um, and so anyway, so in this scene, I have no idea what's going on, and it's about to get so ugly. Like, boy, so here we go. Da, da, da. Good people go to heaven. So here's Bad Jason walking in, furious. And the, rest and the thing is, that's great is Jason normally sweats it. this much yeah. anyway, so it wasn't even like a matter of makeup. It's just some um, place it was a big deal that they get that show room in the reflection, people. I remember. I mean, and here I am ranting about religion, and then bam, watch this. Okay, now this right here really hit me in his chest. Really hit me in the gut. And then that was real too. This is a stunt guy getting thrown into the thing right here. Bam, he goes down. And watch this. I'm so glad Piz gets come back. Little. And then when we did this take, see these hits right here? That normally went on about 40, 40 more punches to the face, just endlessly. And I was like, Piz would not be standing. You know, this is like a kid from frickin' Portland. You know, they, they can't stand a beating that hard. But I did. I did stand it. Jason was perturbed because he felt like his cuts and bruises were more severe than mine. When you see me in the next episode, I look like a grape. Jason is a complete saint. Jason was one of those guys that, like, when I came on the set, actually, when I came to the big CW launch party, um, I was, like, walking around doe-eyed because I didn't know anyone. Uh, and Jason sort of grabbed me by the hand and walked me through and introduced me to everybody. And the guy goes above and beyond. So I, I don't mind Jason at all. In fact, we discussed this, Rob Thomas and I, kind of butted heads, but if Piz weren't to end up with Veronica, why not Logan? You know what I'm saying? Take it to a whole new level of mystery and intrigue. Um, I love Jason. Too much. The time it takes to, to shoot a fight scene sort of varies, um, and I, I don't think a lot of it is uh, so much as much as time as the actors take. I mean, there's a lot of pre-production that goes into it, negotiations between what can be done, what the stunt guy feels comfortable doing, what the director wants to see. Um, and so all of that was decided upon before Jason and I showed up on set um, in pre-production the weeks before. And uh, Jason and I just showed up, and it was a little difficult because I'm a southpaw, and no one knew that, so that got a little tricky. But Because um, I can't throw punches ever, let alone with my right hand. Um, but it, that's why they gave me the elbow. You don't have to do a lot with an elbow. Just kind of like fake yawn, like you're putting deodorant on, and you kind of have, like mocked a punch. Um, but it took us, you know, it didn't take us that, that long. I mean, there were a lot of setups, but because there's no dialogue, it's not one of those situations where you need to, you know, like if you, if you get off book or you skip a line. I mean, your lines are just a lot of uggs and oohs, like caveman noises. It's a little unnatural doing a lot of, you know, but you, it, it's okay. It worked out. I actually got to do that in ADR, too, which was a lot of fun. You just sit in a sound studio and make really weird noises, like you need to go to the bathroom, but can't. So that's, that's how you do a fight scene. Make noises like you need to go to the bathroom, but can't.